Print page one to begin and use the little key in the top corner to measure. If it measures correctly, then you can print the remaining pages. This pattern actually is not designed to overlap, but I'm a little bit lazy and I prefer to just trim the right and bottom hand edges of each pattern so that I can just overlap a little bit and so that they connect nicely if I've trimmed too much on one side. Once you have cut out your pattern, this is what you will be left with. So you can just fold the fabric in half once and then lay the pattern on top, but I chose to fold this pattern in half so that I would fold the fabric twice. So here you can see at the bottom, it's already been folded once and now I'm finding the center point here and I'm folding it again. So two folds because I have halved the size of the pattern. The reason why I opted to do this is because bamboo fabric is just really slippery and silky when you work with it. So I just found it easier to cut out the fabric doing it this way, but you absolutely don't have to do it this way. Once you have cut that out, what you want to do is open it up, make sure that the good side of the fabric is facing up and then fold it over and put some pins in. I'm pinning the wrong side of the fabric right now. Then you will just bring this across to your serger or overlocker and overlock these edges here that I have indicated. Once you've done that, what you're going to do is just turn the pattern inside out and we're going to now cover stitch the edges of the fabric. So I just like to get a ruler and some chalk and mark maybe two centimeters in of where I want the hem to begin. You can then use some pins to hold that fold into place, but I sometimes don't. I just fold it over and make sure that the chalk is right on the edge here. So just feed that through your cover stitch machine, ensuring that the chalk line is right on the edge and then you will be left with this. So here I am using some duckbill scissors to trim away any excess fabric. This is not necessary, but something that I like to do because sometimes these edges can flip up and the cleaner edge you have, the better. So that is the end of the tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Please comment below though if you have any questions at all. Please also feel free if you would like to subscribe to my channel so that you get um, first access to my selling patterns which come with a 20% off discount code the first 48 hours they drop. Good luck!